Welcome to my YouTube channel, Civil Engineers. Myself, Maitri Dave, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, we are going to discuss about building construction. So, today we are going to discuss in our third lecture different topics of building construction. But let's recall the previous topics that we have already learned into the previous lectures. So, we have discussed types of load and according to what are the different types of foundation that we can provide to any building. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about different types of doors, different types of windows and different types of roofs, right? So these are the basic component of any kind of building. So let's get idea of different types of doors first. The first question is, what is a door is? So a door is something which is act as an opening to enter and exit in a room, right? It is also used to provide privacy to particular any room. Now, there are various types of doors available in which first type of door is known as the batten and ledge door. Here on screen, you can see the ledge is the horizontal component and the batten is the vertical component of a timber. So, according to their component's name, it is called as batten and ledge door. Second type is known as batten, ledge and braced door. Here you see one component is added which is in inclined position is a braced, right? So, accordingly its name is known as batten, ledge and braced door. Now, this inclined component is added to provide more safety, right? Or we can say more strength to that particular door so that the safety of room can be increased, right? Next is the frame or brace door. Here a frame is provided for better strength. So this is the three types of door. Now what is the fourth type? It is the frame and panel door. You have seen these kind of doors generally at the main entrance of any building. It is good in appearance and it is good in strength also. Next is fifth one which is known as glass and chaise door. So here you can see on screen that this door is divided into two types. That means the lower portion is a hardcore portion and the upper portion is of glass. It means we are providing half view possibility. It means privacy cannot be fully disturbed, it is partially disturbed and the safety is still there by providing half hardcore door. This is the concept generally used in commercial areas for better communication as well as for some privacy also. These types of door are commonly used in nowadays in even residential buildings also, right? Next is the seventh type of door. It is known as the flush door. So what is a flush door is? So these kind of doors are used in generally washrooms, right? Why? Because these are made of PVC or a material which is not good in strength. Because the reason is if a child or an elder get locked inside, one can easily break it out and we can save that person. So that flush doors are of generally of PVC material. Next is the eighth one which is revolving door. This kind of doors are good in appearance and provide some proper channel to utilize that area or we can say for entry in particular zone. So generally this kind of doors are used in gardens, right? Next is the collapsible steel door. So this kind of doors are used in the lift area right so that safety as well as convenience both can be justified at one place now next and tenth one is the 
rolling steel door. So this kind of door is provided in the garages where the safety factor is quite high. So the material is used as a steel, right? And due to rolling facility, it is easy to uplift and close that door manually, right? Next is the swing door. This kind of doors are also available in residential buildings, but it is not a better option. It is preferable when a space is there, right? So this is the different types of door. Now, let's move to the our second topic, which is types of windows. So here, different types of windows are there, but what the main function of a window is? So generally, window is also act as an opening in any kind of building, but it is act as the movement of light as well as the air, right? So here, what are the types? First type is the fixed window. Now, in fixed window, the frame and glasses are fixed to that place. It means it cannot be open. It means only light can be utilized, not the air. In ancient times, these kind of buildings are made of fixed windows where the lighting purpose is enhanced by providing these kind of fixed windows. Why? In the pivoted window, which is the second type of window, you can see horizontally and vertically it is pivoted or hinged to one point. According to requirement, we can incline or we can tilt it for the better air circulation and due to glass light is always there right next is the sliding window this kind of windows are commonly used in many kind of buildings right residential educational and commercial nowadays next is the casement window so here a fixed frame to that panels are there for better safety and again, it can be open and closed according to requirement. Now, the next type of window is glaze or sage window. So, as I said earlier in the doors, here again, the concept is same that the half portion is fixed and half portion is movable. It means some portion is utilized for light only. Generally, the upper portion is utilized and fixed one and the lower portion which is easy to open and close is utilized for air circulation. Next is the lowered window. Again, it is utilized light whenever it is required. Again, it can be open and closed. That is known as the lowered window. Next is the metal window. So here on screen, you can see a metal frame is there and a window can be open and closed. So it is a better option when we are talking about the safety factors for residential buildings. Now the next is the bay window. So this kind of windows are used when a large space is available and a different shape is there like a bay. So here you can see that a window which is extended and having a great amount of space over there that is known as the bay window. Now moving to the next type it is clay story window. It means some villas and bungalows having quite higher height than the normal room area then at that time for light provision we have to provide some fixed windows at the uppermost part of that particular floor right that is act as a clear story windows now the next is the corner window so the corner window is something which is provided at the corner of the building sometimes we think that it is something unique right but it is not practical because as we know, the load acting on building and the channel that how a load is transmitted, it can be through wall or it can be through column. Now, in this kind of condition, it is our weak point. Whenever a joint comes in the structure, it is our weak point. So, we should not provide corner windows in any kind of building, right? Next is the dormer window. Now, whenever we talk about the incline, Roof. At that time, for light provision, we can provide different kind of windows. From that, one is the dormer window. Next is the gable window. Again, here in dormer window, you can open that window and again you can extend it up 
to such space so that you utilize that area but in gable window it is a fixed window and only light can be utilized right now the next is the lantern window so these are the windows which are provided in the flat window when we want to utilize maximum sunlight right so this is the openings with some glass panels is provided next is the skylight window so this kind of windows are provided in the structures which are generally promoting any natural beauty outside or the tourism places so that the natural sunlight or the outer nature is quite important so at that time you can go for this kind of windows it is not preferable for residential one right next is the ventilator window so this is the window which we generally used in our bathrooms this is used to utilize light as well as it is very important to remove the bad odor or smell from that bath area so this is all about different types of windows so till now we have discussed types of door and windows now let's go to the third and last topic for today's lecture which is types of roofs so what is a roof so generally roof is the topmost area of any building it is further classified as two type in which first is the pitched or slope roof and second one is the flat roof generally pitch roof or slope roof is again further classified as lean to roof trust it means here you can see vertical column is there and one side inclination is there this type of concept is known as the lean to roof trust right now the second type is the king post roof trust here you can see it is a two side inclination roof here the main and important constraint is the span length here generally 5 to 9 meter span is there if span is quite higher then we should go for the king post roof truss like this here generally 9 to 14 meter span is provided so this is all about pitched or slope roof now let's go to the last one which is flat or terrace roof generally in india this kind of roofs we prefer why because we want to utilize maximum sunlight right why in the foreign countries when the snowfall is there at that time we should provide some pitched roof right again according to the span we can go for the king post or king post so this is all about the different types of roof. so in today's lecture we have discussed types of door window and types of roofs so this is all about for today's lecture i hope you all understand all these three topics right so see you in the next lecture thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel civil edge next